Morning everybody. I say morning instead of good morning for a reason. I'm just gonna put it this way. If you ever see a man in the woods wearing a sleeping bag bed liner for pants, you know he went through some crap. Hey boys. Morning. Morning. I've never been, I don't think, that wet before in the woods. No. Like, no. Oh, well, of course you. <laughs> Zach was full on in the creek yesterday. A long jump that I like should have at least been able to make ankle deep, and I made it more like uh, here deep. <laughs> those are cute. Uh, you like that? I like those, yeah. I'm wearing them the whole time. <laughs> We had uh, one of the most epic nights of bugling, followed by the most epic nights of thunderstorm rain. <laughs> storm. Like, like the two spectrums of being yeah, like, yeah. dude, this is so amazing. Followed by, holy crap, are we gonna die? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. the lightning was literally just right above us. It was pretty sketchy. Um, and we had to like- counts. Yeah, a lot of like, <laughs> oh, 1,000. Oh, <laughs> um, I was actually in really good condition until we left the mountain coming yeah. off. Like I was dry, I'm thinking, okay, cool. You know, my pants are gonna get wet, we'll build a fire tonight. No, get into your tent, soaking wet. Oh yeah. Like strip to your underwear, jump in your sleeping bag, and. And it was a cold night too, cause it just kept raining. And like it was just, it rained hard enough that it, like it stayed just damp in my tent. Like none of my stuff dried at all. No, <laughs> actually my, I did, I put all my clothes on and this ended up drying out. I think my thing that I've been wearing underneath is pretty close. But my pants and my long johns, not close. No. <laughs> and Wes is wearing a, I don't know. It's a sleeping bag liner. <laughs> the, best, the first the only thing I have dry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when. Yeah, I understand, man. I mean, I'm, like, I put on wet underwear this morning. They're finally drying. Didn't sleep well, but I will say, I heard bugles, like, quite a bit last night, and this morning I've heard at least 30, I think. So we get stuff dried out? Dude, I'm, Go I'm hunting. all about it. I'm all about it. Let's just... At least get some yeah, pants, pants dry. My pants have to be a little bit drier, I think. Yeah. yeah. Here comes, uh, <laughs> Dirt Boy. <laughs> Dirt Boy. <laughs> Hey bud! <laughs> How'd you fare? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sleep worth the darn? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> It's the last morning and we got clear skies. We're just gonna hunt our way back towards the truck. I measured it this morning as the crow flies. We're like a little over five and a half miles. Hopefully bump into some elk. We're gonna be going through some good country, so hopefully we get a little last day magic going for us. And the rain rolls in. With that, for my segment of Colorado, it's a wrap. For these guys, not so much. For Wes and Troy, not either. Yeah. Well, Ted is going to Nebraska. Nebraska. And then my buddy Ben is coming to Colorado here in the end of this week. So I'm going to be coming back out, hopefully meeting up with you at some point. And uh, I'm headed to go meet uh, Trent, Steve, and Trevor. We're headed to Arizona. I guess quick recap of today, hunted our way back towards the trucks and didn't bump into anything. So it's last been day and a half's been rough. Rough. It's been real windy too. Yeah, yeah. high winds. High so winds. And we tried to beat the rain, which we just got pretty much beat. So <laughs> yeah, go grab a hotel room and a shower and a burger and yeah. And I want to just say thanks to Cody and Wes like a ton and oh. Zach as well. Taught 
Ted and I so much about elk hunting and it means a lot more than I'll ever be able to say so thank you guys oh I have to, like I said it's been an honor like you guys not a lot of guys would have grit what we grit through and just like smiled and enjoyed it like it's been a pure pleasure so yeah go subscribe yeah the hunting public awesome. born and raised do it thanks right. for watching see you guys Guys, we are currently driving down a gravel road in Colorado, headed up for Ben's first elk hunt. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> we went back and kind of regrouped. I got more gear, more food, and I picked up this guy along the way. Yeah. Ben has been driving from Ohio for the last like two days. Yeah. Got in late last night. We finished up packing this morning, and now we are headed to get out of the car and start hunting. Actually, also behind me, got my buddy Colin. So our plan here is we're going into the same general area and actually Wes and Troy, they're in this area. They went in this morning, I kind of have a rough idea of where they're at. So we're gonna kind of hunt our way in towards those guys, hopefully meet up with them at some point here in the next couple of days. It's about two o'clock right now. Our goal is to at least get to an area where we feel like we can camp and hear something in the morning. Uh, ideally, we get back in there, we can hunt a little bit this evening, right at prime time, but we're pretty fired up. We, I, feel, I honestly feel like we got a pretty good chance, um, you know, just based off of the, the encounters that we were having, you know, had just a few subtle things gone differently, obviously we would have gotten some pretty good shots at bulls. So fingers crossed that, you know, the luck falls in our favor at this point and it should be pretty fun. What's your expectation? Man, I don't even know what to expect. This is uh, <laughs> this is not Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get to this uh, trailhead here, take off in, and we'll see you guys when we start to walk up. All right, guys, on the trail. You feeling bogged down? A little bit. <laughs> it's gonna be. Uh, just gotta get that back numb first. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is our buddy Colin. What's up, guys? He's tagging along with us for a few days here. Excited to have him along. I'm excited to be with these guys. It's, it's gonna be fun. We're pretty noobs out here, but luckily got all that experience hunting with the guys from Born and Raised. Hopefully we can find a way to meet up with Wes and Troy later. But to start, we're gonna hike a long way in. Just hike as hard as we can for a couple hours here and just see how deep we can get right before prime time and then hopefully get to a spot where we feel like we're gonna be able to hear elk bugling at night. So, here we go. Part two of the elk. Yeah. I got too much food on my back to be shooting at that grouse. <laughs> Unfortunately, if I make him flush. guys it's getting on 7 30 probably the sun just went down behind the hills we got a heck of a view behind us kind of just now are getting to our point of interest you can see up there's the top we're kind of on the highest point before a saddle goes to another high point I just feel like from here we ought to be able to hear a lot and have a quick move. And we probably went probably five miles or more since 345. One thing that I learned from Cody and Wes is definitely try to get advantage as far as what you can hear. And I think from here we're gonna have a really good spot to hear help bugle before we start in the morning. So it was worth the push, I think. I think it'll be worth it. 
You get up here, bugle a couple more times. Make sure there's nothing close. And then set up camp. We uh, made it up here to our camp. Cooking up some dinner here. Feeling pretty confident as far as being in a good spot for the morning. This is supposed to be the coldest night, did you say, Colin? Yeah, it's supposed to get down to about 32 degrees tonight. Really? Yeah. So that should be pretty good for the morning, I would assume. So, should be able to hear anything down off of our hillside, anything that direction. Really, 360 degrees around it. But anyway, we're excited. We're gonna eat some dinner here. We're gonna record a podcast. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be after them in the morning. Catch you then.